Hello, 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 it is Dolly. Welcome to my channel, Scrapping on the Go. This process video is for a new monthly collaboration team of close to my heart makers, part of the Crazy Crafty Creators team. I said team twice, I apologize. We are bringing you monthly videos inspiring you to use your close to my heart products or come try out close to my heart products. I am a maker along with all the other individuals that are going to be listed below in the description box. For this video, I am focusing on using the special for the month of April called Wild Berry Blast. I'll say that again. I show you the Wild Berry Blast products that I purchased. I want to let you know that we have some fabulous paper collections that are not going to be available after April 30th. And I just want to briefly bring that to your attention. So we have this beautiful birthday collection called Cake Day. And this is a sample of one layout. And I'm just going to briefly show you the paper selection right here with the sticker sheet and how you can also make some cards from that collection. And then we have this other fabulous collection called In Full Bloom. Again, this is a sample layout that you can create from that collection. Here's a sample of some of the pattern paper and sticker sheet. We have a lot more products that go with both of these collections. We have coordinating card stocks, we have die cuts, ephemera pieces, life cards, etc., etc., and you can go on to the website to get more information about that. We also have the Mix In Pattern Paper and Coordinating Cardstock. This is a sample of a layout that you can create using that along with some of the products in the Full Bloom collection. And remember, we have tons of stamps and dies. We call them thin cuts as well in these um, bi-monthly catalogs and lots of ideas. Here is the mix-in paper. I'm just going to flip over one page more and here is a sample of a stamp set. Isn't this gorgeous? And then there are some thin cuts that go along with this. We also have workshop kits that are for scrapbooking and card making. We also will have specials in here to do six by on eight and out. on. So be sure to come check out Close to My Heart. I will have the link listed below in the description box. This you is the memory that I am going to document. And this is a photograph of my granddaughter at 11. She's very tall for her age and looks probably about three years older than she actually is. She just got those jeans from her grandma. All right, so we have some loose sequins from the Wildberry collection. I have some glitter gems. I have the dots right there. Beautiful. I have the shimmer trim. I also have the shimmer pen, glitter pen. I love this. I have the die cuts and we have hearts and leaves and bows. I know it's hard to see. We have um, picture frames. We have arrows, um, hearts. We have the word smile. We have some banners. On an I also picked up the pattern paper with sticker sheet set. So you get this 12 by 12 gorgeous sticker sheet. I don't know if that you can see it has some shimmer and glimmer to it. It's that kind of vinyl finish texture on some of the elements on here, some of the ephemera. It's like half and half. All tone on tone pinks. And don't you love this saying here? You are amazing, wonderful, adorable, lovable, sweet, and perfectly incredible 
just the way you are. I love this. Now for the pattern paper. The side we have this arrow or chevron, I think, and then we have this ombre of different pinks. And of course you can use it like this. You can flip it and have the lighter at the top and go darker or vice versa like I just showed you. So this is the A side. No, actually this is the B side and this is the A side. Then the next pattern is this one of squares and triangles in the middle. I don't know what the design element is at. And then the opposite side is the polka dot. So this would be the B side. And this is the A side. I know that's kind of hard on the eyes. Lovely. Love it. And then we have this pattern paper here. This would be the A side. And we have all these flowers and succulents. And then the B side would be, I call this the check side. Some people call it the gingham or plaid. It's, it doesn't matter really. But anyway, that's, that is the pattern paper. And like I said, I am using this photograph for this collection. So I am going to pause you and get started on this layout and I'm going to come back. For my foundation layer I am going to use this 12 by 12 daisy white cardstock from Close to My Heart. The flower pattern paper. I cut this four and a half by eight inches. Then this pattern paper here I trimmed it or cut it four and a half by seven and three fourths. Remember the opposite side is the polka dot paper. Next, that ombre pink paper that I just showed you in the beginning, I trimmed it two and a half by 11 inches. Then I trimmed this zip strip paper from the same collection. I won't keep saying it over and over. And it is a half inch. This is my thought process. And then I'm going to secure, I'm going to show you, I'm going to layer this up something like this. I'm going to place it about the two inch mark. I am going to use this paper here, this ombre, and layer it across these two blocks of papers and I am going to fishtail it here and this is going to be kind of an anchor spot for my photograph. I went ahead and matted my photograph onto black cardstock from close to my heart in a very very thin frame around that photograph. All right it's probably a 1 16th of an inch if that much. I also, from my stash, decided I wanted to add a dolly over here in this corner. And I may take this circle that I cut out and place it on top, and I'm going to layer it under the photograph. That's my thought. I'm not sure that's what I'm going to do. My next thought process is to use my close to my heart precision pin in 0 0.03 in black and I am going to create a dotted line around these papers and come up the side. I have done this technique before so I'm kind of scrap lifting myself but I don't think my paper layers looked look quite like this. So now I'm going to pause my video secure my paper layers down, cut my fish um, tail here, and do my stitching like faux stitching. You could even stitch it, but I'm gonna use my Close to My Heart Precision Pin. As you can see, I've completed securing all my paper layers and doing the faux stitching. Now it's time for embellishing. I am gonna start out with using Close to My Heart Wild Berry Dots. I will place two large dots together 
and then on the opposite side, the smaller dot. Next, I use stickers from the sticker sheet and I start off with that amazing sticker that says, you are amazing, wonderful, adorable, lovable, sweet, and perfect incredibly just the way you are. Then I'm going to layer a couple of stickers underneath that larger sticker. Then I'm going to go back to the dots and I'm going to add one large, one medium, and two small dots. Next, I used five stickers from the sticker sheet to create my embellishment cluster in the lower left-hand corner of the photograph. Next, I cut a four inch of the wild berry shimmer trim and tucked it under the fishtail banner paper. Then I got out my wild berry shimmer brush and added some splatters to the right the lower left hand corner and then in the upper right hand corner and then I scattered some sequence over there to the right of my kind of title which is that sticker and then this layout is complete. Be sure to go check out the other ladies that are participating in this hop. Everyone's link is listed below. If you would like to purchase any Close to My Heart products come over and shop with me. We'll see you next time. Bye.